Hey there, my fellow dungeon explorers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Mind Over Magic, Episode 9, Iron of the Stone Ruins. Oh, but there is a fog incarnation. Man, I am just completely getting attacked over and over and over and over with no reprieve, really, at all. So we are hunting it ahead of time to try to whittle its health down as much as we can to make it an easier fight. And it is haunting the dining room. So it's eh, about a third killed. So the monsters that it will spawn will be wounded by that percent. 40.9%. Uh, it is a two battle difficulty fight. The other thing is it locks down the room so I can't even use that room or pass through it. So I can't even get to the medical beds because they are um, behind this door. Uh, the current mages other than Leo have a pretty decent amount of health so I'm going to have Leo drink a, a, a potion or two actually how many more potions do I even have two more okay so let's brew up a few more and then address so oh, I'm missing ingredients what am I missing? Probably ectoplasm? No, ice petals. Oh, okay. Well, there's no more ice petals available right now, so we're just going to have to fight with what we've got, which is two rejuvenation potions and an earth mage who can't actually use half of his earth magics. That's the way it rolls on the hardest difficulty. Oh, God. We have hallowed ones. So, um, the hallowed ones attack the front row of enemies both of them um which does a lot of damage and then the belchers just are high base damage i don't think Locke is going to fare very well here at all uh he's only missing seven hp so it doesn't make sense to drink a potion right now but this fight is uh is gonna suck for him Because it's going to be 42 damage, and then another 42 damage, and he's down. Unavoidable. Just literally can't uh, do anything about that. So let's soak you. And work to kill you ASAP. Belcher is very low HP, so I'm going to gun for the Belcher. Crit! Oh, come on, man. Those crits are not reliable. As that's literally what they're all about. Alright, so Belcher's gone. And now it's just the Hollowed One. He does 42 damage per cast. And I have no more healing potions. So this is a, a push to completion quickly. Killing the Hallowed One before it takes us out. Because we don't have, um... Oh, now you crit, so it's at 1 HP. So, because we don't have, um, healing potions, we're just gonna have to rely on medical rest. So the current priority right now is recover. Uh, the other thing is, I don't think I have the Wormweed Pods to do a revive at the moment. So, uh, Cathanon is gonna have to rush to get that. Because Locke will die without it. And Cathanon's the best uh, plant harvester. So it's uh, it's somewhat uh, time intensive. So Board Drake, you go scoop uh, Locke up, put him in the in the in a bed. And then get in the bed yourself. Uh, so I have two hours before he dies. It's honestly, I might not even have time to harvest it in time. We'll see. I'm not going to be calling in the students right now because I don't have the capacity to teach them, take care of them, train them, or anything. Um, so all I would be doing is to 
add to the already overloaded workload. It would be a terrible idea right now. All right. Uh, grab and go. There might not be enough time. We'll see. Okay. No, he's stabilized with 27 minutes left. So uh, I am going to get some wormweed uh, in advance so we don't run into that situation twice. We also have the fog advancing. Uh, so we need two more gut berries for the next ritual, but that's pretty easy to get because we haven't been consuming too many of them. So lock is stabilized. And with uh, yet another... Uh, trauma. So HP and conviction yet again. So we have double conviction. What I'm hoping to do is just have them rest as much as they can um, so that they're able to uh they're able to lose that in pain conviction penalty and also fight better. So shield has gotten enough wormweed for another revival, so it's not some sort of like blitz rush like last time. And I'm just stocking up a little bit extra, just in case. Do I have enough jobs for the students to put them to work? No. So students are really only able to clean, repair, ward, haul, beast care, charge, um, tend and destroy, and not construct, assemble, harvest, any of that stuff. They're, they're prohibited from that kind of work, as you can see by the X's. So there's just simply not the need for students. What I'm saying, which is literally what I just said, is they wouldn't help at all at this point. They would only add more of a burden, so I'm not considering to add them at all because they can't hunt and they don't fight well. Let's clean up this splatter so that it stops attracting oozes because it's starting to destroy the gruel pot. So Locke was very close to his conviction um, break point. So we're just going to have to pamper him a little bit. And then it would also be good to do a repel fog. So let's get the gut berries required for that. Leaving him to rest and the others to run the ritual. Because we got kind of dirty, I'm going to put shield on a... Oh, I see. I turned everyone's clean off. Uh, I'm going to put shield on a high priority clean. Just so that we stop getting oozes. We do have access to some additional ice petals. Which I'm going to set as a 5 priority. Which is the highest. Because the ice petals are uh, the necessary ingredients that we're missing in order to make more healing potions. It's also possible to uh, research how to plant ice petals. So I'm actually going to uh, stop the research into lightning rods uh, because I don't think it's all that likely that we're going to get the iron for the lightning rods anyway and to put it towards ice petals instead uh, so that we can uh, we can start cultivating our own ice petals. So the gut berry planters are large 
Uh, the ice pedal planters are uh, a quarter of the size, so they're easier to fit in to places. The other thing I haven't done is to check if um, Dismal and Murky. Okay, so there's no crystals that are worth uh, grabbing right now. All right, now that Cathanon is fully healed, I will bring in those new students. Now that I'm not doing um, all the micromanagement of like keeping people alive and happy. It's very unlikely that the students are going to be better at combat than the people I currently have, but it might be worth retiring Locke from combat for a bit for his conviction penalties to be cleared. So we have Marcello, who is a vivified. Uh, Marcello has, is a, the water mage that we brought in. Um, recreation fill gain is faster if uh, Marcello participates in a ritual rested. Uh, if casting solo on a basic or intermediate classroom gains 10 power, um, their base power is 5, so up to 15. And then if I don't get tired for two days, another two power, so 17 power and two speed. Um, Vivified's base speeds are pretty terrible, but speed is not a super important stat for water to have. Um, so it's possible to keep Marcelo as a, um, as a, uh, uh, you know, to hire them on as a teacher. I will be polling for that once we have access to the second student, which is a nature one. Also, it's worth mentioning, nature is a very bad combat um, um, school of magic. They're they're not good at fighting. Nikolai. So this is our first um, shattered student. So shattered students are a little bit different. They're inorganic, which means they're immune to certain things like poisons or um, being trapped by certain uh, plant life that will tangle around you and, and trap you. Uh, they do get a big bonus to power, but they don't get a bonus to speed. And they start off with armor unless they're cursed in some way. So Shattered Students will um, start the fight. They, they normally have very low HP, so 30 HP, as you can see. Uh, but they start with some armor that doesn't refresh after each round, but they, they do at least start with it. And the trials here are um, cast on a learning stone when uh, at very high conviction for extra dark skill cap. So dark will go from two to three. Uh, don't get hungry and speed, power, and HP will go up by 2, 2, and 10. Um, that's not huge. And then the last one is petting for extra conviction when hauling. Uh, so pretty lackluster uh, trial medallions there. An inorganic nature mage. So you know what's, what's really interesting about an inorganic nature mage is they are the best ones. Truth be told, uh, in my opinion. Because nature is not a good combat skill, Trying to min-max them for combat doesn't matter. So what you want your nature people to be able to do is to not get poisoned by plants and not get tangled up by plants. And shatters are immune to poisons and entanglement. So the best ma uh, the best nature mages, I think, are honestly shattered ones. But with that said, uh, whether we keep them or not will be left up to you. So, do we keep any of the current students? What do you guys think? As as faculty, as staff, once they uh, they graduate. hoping to be left alone for just a minute so that I can recover. So uh, when you're asking about poisons, one such poison would be spore shrooms. Um, spore shrooms are inky fungus that emix clouds of toxins. So going near spore shrooms kind of sucks, but not for Nikolai. 
because Nikolai is immune to poison. So that would be an example of when shattereds are uh, useful for gardening. I have three students that are idle. Uh, what are they supposed to be doing? Uh, processing. Okay. There's no work for them at the moment, so that's fine. Yeah, the way they dance is pretty funny. Pretty funny indeed. You guys want uh, to keep one? Who to keep? Leo, or, or how many to keep? First. One, two, or three. I don't really have the facilities to keep three, but like, or even two, but I could build them. You know, I could build a second bedroom here pretty easily and then move this Gutberry planner elsewhere. Something like that. So it's fine if you want to keep more than one. Shield, keep uh, brewing rejuvenation potions because God knows we need them. And then also, it would be good to work on a superior repel fog. Uh, so, as soon as you're done with that, get some wormweed for the next repulsion. So I'm not about it. already out of ingredients for additional ones, and we don't have the ice petals. So I'm researching um, how to cultivate ice petals. But it's going to take a minute for that research to be done. The curse is done now. Uh, Wolfkin, or specifically uh, Locke, will be able to cast armor now which is good curse finally went away took long enough though on the not fully grown ice flowers you can still queue them up uh, to be harvested once they are fully grown and then set them to like five, which is the highest priority. All right, one more minute to vote in this bowl. It's very close between keeping one or keeping two. And they are ready for class, but uh, yeah. Leo is gonna skip class right now to help repel the fog. So Board Drake, Cathanon, Locke, they have all fully recovered, as has Leo. So nobody is injured, which is good. The new students are leveling up. And as far as the trials go, uh, solo learner is relatively easy to do. Um, group learner I can't do. And then eating gut berries for Leo, I don't think I'm going to bother because I'm using gut berries for rituals. So I'm not going to be working towards that trial because I don't have the gut berries to spare, at least not yet. Well, I could set them on high priority uh, wild harvest. Okay, we're only keeping one, so who to keep? Leo, water, Marcello, water, or... Nikolai Nature. And Nikolai just finished his blissful learning. So now his dark magic cap is three, not two. Has gone up. We need small carcasses and wormweed pods. 
In fact, I'm out of Wormweed Pods, which is a bad idea, considering that Wormweed Pods is what we need to revive people. So I'm gonna um, go out of my way to harvest some. Uh, there is actually a crystal that I would rather have first. This is a large crystal, uh, a large rug crystal. So I'm gonna go after that smoky crystal uh, with shield. And we have a cold snap, which is actually a bit of a benefit. So nature uh, mages will be penalized. Water mages will benefit. They'll be able to uh, go earlier in the turns. And then ice flowers grow faster. So because we needed the ice flowers, this cold snap actually is kind of helpful to us. So we have two large occult rugs. I am gonna just put them in the current bedrooms as just somewhere to put them. They won't really benefit from it all that much, but might as well plop them in there for some extra luxury, because as you can see. Uh, oh, right, this is an austere bedroom because of the double doors. Uh, oh well. I'm going to put Locke in a different bedroom then. So that uh, Cathanon's the only one in this bedroom. Because Locke has more of a conviction problem than Cathanon. Oh, and it actually looks like Bord Drake has a bit of a conviction problem too. Because he's near starving. Because he doesn't have anything to eat. So, taking a look at Vivifieds. Uh, I don't have Carcass Stew. So I'm going to allow them to eat Bitter Gruel or Carcass Stew. Uh which will allow him to not starve, because I'm sure that's why he's upset. And that's fixed. I also have 16 gut berries. Um, yeah, let's put Leo on a gut berry only again. I, I, I feel like I have enough gut berries for him to work towards that. My guess is because he needs to eat nine more of them, he's probably going to, yeah, he's probably going to graduate before he eats nine more gut berries. But whatever, it's fine. And you guys want to keep Nikolai. Got it. Which means it's worth uh, working on Nikolai's medallions, but he's already, that's already kind of getting done automatically. The other thing I'd like to do is, now that we've recovered, cultivate ice petals and clear dungeons. I would like to get the stone ruin cleared out. So, I'm going to send a party down there now. The fog laughs mockingly. Um, no. It, uh, the fog seems to gloat about its recent victories, but the tooltip is even like, it doesn't really do anything yet. Oh, furry mites. So these attack the front row of enemies for 24 damage a pop. Um, I'm going to soak one of the furry mites. So it's attacking for 16 damage instead. Um, go with the earth armor. So now Locke is protected. Bored Drake will get hit, but that's okay. And then let's uh, focus fire on the furry might that I've weakened as well. Because water is hastened, the um, the water mages will get like two turns, which is kind of awesome. Because they're very speedy now. Guaranteed death. Love it. All right, we're down to two furry mites. Uh, let's not burn all your mana on soak, though. Yeah, one of the reasons why I picked this fight was I knew that the water mages were boosted. So I would have a bit of a natural advantage as a result.
And because uh, the armor ability isn't blocked, as you can see, Locke has taken one point of damage instead of dying. Huge difference based upon uh, <laughs> the status effects. I'm actually going to use this last rejuvenation potion because we're coming in a windfall of ice petals. So I'm not too worried about uh, consuming all my my potions and it will keep him happier to not leave this uh, fight wounded. Because right, we have 20 ice petals just from this fight alone. All right. And then before these guys walk back upstairs, I want them to bring stuff with them so that we can make fewer trips. So this chamber is a is a different one or has a unique um, component to it, which is there's an underschool ward. So what this thing does is every 24 minutes, it will fog back up, preventing um, preventing you from walking through it unless you continually ward it. So what I can do is because shield is can pass through floors and everything, I can set shield to emergency ward so that anytime there's like less than five minutes on that clock, Shield will come down here and refresh the ward, uh, allowing us access to this area. So Nikolai and Marcelo just had their serenity fulfillment. Great. And I'll continue to go through the stone ruins because I get extra stone and access to this underground stone. And a lot of what we're trying to build up top, like a garden requires more stone, more rooms require more stone. I was very stone restricted up until now. Um, yeah. yeah. All good. So shield over here, keep making potions. And I think I'm going to set harvest to very high because we have a lot of harvest opportunities that I don't want to pass up due to the cold snap. Does he look like a Nova kid from Starbound? Uh, they're supposed to be like crystal. Not um, Nova kids were like what energy or whatever. They were sort of like a fire. Uh, they were like what you at the end of a candle like that kind of like fire flame so they kind of look like nova kids but i don't think it's intentional nice four rejuvenation potions already and all the wounds that we suffered from the fight are already cleared Now what's going to be important here is that um, anytime there's anything to haul outside, it gets hauled very quickly because of the rain. The rain is going to ruin anything left out in the open. So for instance, the wormweed pod here needs to get pulled in ASAP. So I think, because shield is even better at um, storing than anyone else, shield is going to be set on high priority haul, or highest emergency haul. So everything that needs hauling gets hauled before the rain destroys it. And with the added stone that I'll get from mining down here, I'll be able to do more gutberry planter planters. This has been very productive. We're up to 26 ice petals and 68 wormwood weed.
Definitely skipping some classes for the day, but sometimes it's worth skipping just to catch up on work. So Locke's first trauma is going away in about a day. Good. The students need teachers, but uh, like I said, I don't care. There's harvest opportunities that I don't want to pass up. So the midden jellies require more small carcasses for them to make more ectoplasm for healing potions. So got to get some hunting in as well. It's not great to hunt during rain because the stuff that gets left out here, the carcasses, the viscera and the uh, sinew uh, obviously rot and it's triple stacks of stuff. So it's harder to haul that in a timely way because there's so much that spills out. But this is why sometimes it's helpful to have so many students when you have a lot of high, high priority hauling needs to be met. All right, it is Probably after the evening meal, I'll clear out another dungeon. But here, as you can see, the fog reclaims the room in 18 minutes. So it's a, it's a countdown timer. Nikolai only needs to pet a refining beast one more time, too. So I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to manually prioritize him to care for this one so that he has all of his trials met because you guys wanted to keep them. He's done. You know what? On second thought, I am going to repel the fog instead. Uh, so probably in the morning, I will send Marcello to re repel the fog because if he's fully rested, the fog will repel. So right now, I will continue down the dungeon, and then in the morning I'll repel with Marcello, because that will fulfill his, um, his needs. All right. So two furry mites and a belcher. Belchers are high individual targets, and then furry mites are front row. So I'm gonna do soaks on this furry mite to slow it down and weaken it. Hmm. I'll actually double soak. Normally I would focus fire on a single target, but I'd rather reduce the amount of damage that they do, making it easier for Drake to tank. Drake's going to take a lot of damage. We're just down to a belcher, and the belcher is going to be taunted in attacking our earth armor uh, because earth armor comes with a taunt for two attacks. So, anytime you cast earth armor level one, you gain 60 armor and taunt two. Taunt two means two attacks will be forced to focus on you. Against the mites, that's not all that effective because mites attack everyone in the front row, but against something like a belcher, it's a lot more effective because belchers attack a uh, single target. And cleared without too much issue. Any potions that aren't used get dumped. So I like to, as soon as the fight's over, right click on everyone and force them to haul what, what got dropped. Because otherwise someone has to make the long trek down here to grab it subsequently, which sucks. It's way more efficient just to tell them to grab uh, while they're standing in the area. Uh, one more stone ruin, and we'll have enough iron for two lightning rods, I think. Um, 
because I think it's 25 per. Let me double check that. Yes, it's 25 iron per, and the next one gives us 35 iron. So we'll have enough for two lightning rods, which should be nearly enough to cover an entire roof. Like put one lightning rod here, we'll cover these buildings, and then one lightning rod here, we'll cover these buildings. And that way, when thunderstorms happen, I don't end up with the entire roof and floors and everything caving in so annoyingly. Because God, is that annoying. So a reminder that in the morning, we are going with Marcello as a fog ritualist. And we walked away with only a few points of damage on board Drake. Not too much of an issue. Now, what I would like to do, as we're getting close to being able to research uh, ice petals, we're 511 out of 750, is get some um, get some stone for the gut berries so that I can complete like a larger uh, a larger garden area, and then prepare for the ice petals so that we can continue to crank out rejuvenation potions, which are vitally important to combat on harder, harder difficulties. But there, there was, um, if you caught it, shield refreshing the ward. It's just, you just, it's, it's kind of like refilling a mana lantern. It only takes a second. Um, and because he, he sails right through the ground, it's very easy for the founder ghost to do warding. If you're wondering what these things are, these are croa. Uh, croa are eat, eat crops. And if you kill them and you don't use their corpses, they will turn into spectral croa, which will start to destroy parts of your uh, your school. So I got lucky in that the crow is on the left side, not the right side. Because if it was on the right side, it would be trying to eat this bitter rice. Uh, and I would have to kill it, and then to either destroy its corpse, eat the corpse with one of the wolfkin, or um, process its corpse on a refining beast. Uh, but the refining beast processing for crow corpses, I haven't unlocked yet. That would be second sight, brains, and use every part. Actually, not use every part, but it would be second sight and brains. Essentially, you can take a crow corpse and turn it into extra eyeballs or extra brains if you need eyeballs and brains for stuff. I think most of the harvest is done, so I'm going to lower that priority. Most of the hauling is done and the rain is done, so I'm going to lower that priority. Keeping it critical on shield, because shield is just better at it than everyone else. And today will be a, a day of lessons. So because we're keeping Nikolai, Nikolai still has a lot of training to do. Um, he's only level one nature, level one dark, level one earth, level one air. It's a lot more training. And also probably going for uh, more stone ruins. Now another thing that might be helpful is to build a magic lantern. Um, like here or something. So I'm going to have S.H.I.E.L.D. do that. So that when our miners are mining and they run out of mana, they can refill their mana, like, and not have to crawl all the way back up to this mana font, which takes a while. Also, uh, we did intend... Are you still rested? Nah, all right, Marcelo is no longer rested. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to do the, um, the, so here's the thing. If I did the ritual right now, I could only do the ritual for, I think what's probably best is if I get a little bit more wormweed pods and then do the ritual now to push back the fog even further. Because if the fog overtakes, um, these ice flowers, I might not be able to harvest them again. There's no guarantee that 
they come back. It'd also be good to start um, farming wormweed because we seem to use it a lot with revives and potions and all that, so. There we go. We have a mana lantern um, that we can refill so that it's easy. Up oh, there, he just refilled it so that we can continue mining uninterrupted. Leo is fully trained, and as a result of that, he is now relentless boredom. So it's probably a good idea to graduate him immediately rather than wait for him to eat the rest of the gut berries. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do an incomplete graduation on him, and I'm going to use a lock who has conviction problems to do it to get rid of Leo. And then you guys decide uh, what school of magic to go for next. So two and a half minutes on the pole over there. Um, so as a little reminder, currently we have Earth. Lightning, fire, and we're keeping Nikolai from nature. And now Leo's gone, so his conviction issues are gone with him. Oh man, I just used so many more wormweed pods. Okay, uh, we're not going to be able to repel the fog today, I don't think because I just burned through whatever extra wormweed we had, probably making um, alchemy potions. That would be my guess. Thank you for tuning in to Mind Over Magic, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 2nd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow mages. 